everybody welcome back to my channel today what I'm going to bring you is my winter home decor tour all my Christmas decorations are down and put away and you know that can be a little bit depressing you go from just decorations all over your house everything is so festive to nothing so what I started to do is I keep out some things that are wintry, meaning I keep out some pine, the pine cones, white to resemble snow, and then I try to use a lot of different fairy lights or twinkle lights to cozy things up a bit. It's kind of a long stretch between putting away our Christmas decorations and then when it's time to decorate for Easter and spring, which is totally different decor and in the interim this makes me happy makes me smile so come on in and look around with me thanks for stopping by okay and here is the winter mantle i took away anything that really screamed christmas or was very overly sparkly and red and we just brought in the pine some warm battery operated candles and some twinkle lights in the arrangement on the end. This little snowball garland I found at Marshall's after Christmas. And we have the little flocked tree. So let's just go in and look closely now. Some branches I brought in from outside and I did reuse the gold deer that I had in the dining room during Christmas time. This lantern I use an awful lot in decorating. And those two little white birds I found at the tar Target dollar spot, excuse me. And over here we just have a vignette with our antler candle holder and some snowy trees. And that is the winter mantle for 2019. simple and easy. Okay, you'll remember this wood tray from my Christmas decor tour in the family room. And all I did to make it winter is I took out anything that was gold. So I had some of the gold bottle brush trees, removed those, put this antler in there, and that's it. So just keep it like that through the winter. The antler I've had for a long time. And that D, beaded D, I found at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so in the foyer area on the table, I did keep up the nativity scene. I usually keep that up through the whole winter. I took down any of the signs and photos that had to do with Christmas, took away any gold trees, and I just kept the green trees up here that we would see when we look at our own windows in winter. took down the, um, the Christmas flowers that I had up here and I just added a little trio of the white snow bottle brush trees. Kept the photo of the snowy barn. I kept the star garland up and the twinkle lights because I do enjoy to have twinkle lights all over the house through the winter. And that is the half bath. So in the kitchen, I keep this basket on the island counter. I took all of the ornaments out that were in here and all of the greenery. And I just replaced it with these big, huge pine cones that I find when I'm down in the Carolinas. And again, some twinkle lights to warm it up. I kept Mr. Snowman out on our little electric fireplace in the kitchen because we are still going to see some snow this weekend, as a matter of fact. So I'll keep him up 
probably for another month or so. And then above him, I just took this tobacco basket off of the dining room table and hung it on the wall with a little eucalyptus wreath. And those are also battery operated lights, snowflakes. In the kitchen, we have Miss Darlene here. You know, all through the Christmas season, she was baking a different kind of cookie. I guess she's gonna take some time off and she's waiting for the snow. Miss Darlene gets a new apron for every season or holiday. This one I thought would look cute with snow. This is also in the kitchen. It's a little basket I keep on the door going down into our basement area of the house and I change it out for the seasons. So I took all the sparkly little glittery flowers out, poinsettias I had in here for Christmas, replaced it with some greenery, some pine cones, and then this is actually, this antler here is real. My father is living with me right now and he went for a walk the other day out in the woods and he found this just laying in the woods, which is so cool. So I added it to the decor. Okay, so now we're in the dining room and to do like a little winter centerpiece in here, all I did was fill that pitcher that you see in the basket with some greenery that I cut off the trees outside. Again, you can see those big, huge pine cones that I find down in the Carolinas. And we just stacked some books up and put everything in the basket. Ignore the barking dogs, sorry about that. And so that is my winter centerpiece. This is on top of the china hutch in the dining room. So again, we have some wheat. And I have this sign, I bought it at Hobby Lobby, haven't really been able to figure out what I wanted to do with it. So I put it inside of that tray with more of the pine cones and those are some fairy lights running through there that are off right now. It's so hard to see the fairy lights during the day. I just have that cute little chicken sitting on a candle stand. Pretty simple. I had this winter blessing sign, which I really like, so I put that there. And this little light up. I guess it's a little house. I found that at the Christmas tree store the beginning of Christmas season. Then I went back to buy a lot more because I wanted to do them all over my shelving unit in the family room. Completely sold out. Buy it when you see it. Moral of the story. Okay, and then over here on the table between the two chairs, again, I just brought the pine cones in and they also have some fairy lights through those that come on when it gets dark. The only other thing I kept out in here is Mr. Snowman holding his wooden stars. So we'll keep him out for another month or so and then he'll have to go back up to the attic. So that's the living room. Very simple. The last thing I kept decorated is my master bathroom. I kept the greenery up there on that piece on the wall. And then up here on the top shelf, let me just show you that. I went at Target and a little blue bird to match it. And we have our snowy white bottle brush tree. So if we come around this way, 
I also kept decorated the shelf that I have over the toilet with the greenery and the cotton. And between the two sinks, I'll just leave this little, this little tree out for about another month or so too, the tiny little pine tree for winter. Okay, so that's it for the winter home decor for this year. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more upcoming videos. Before I leave you today, I wanted to ask you for some advice. In a few days, I am leaving this very cold state of New York for a vacation. But where am I going? To the even colder country of Canada. We're going on a girl's trip. My daughter's getting married and this is her bachelorette party. So if any of you have been to the Montreal area and you have some advice for us, whatever kind of advice that may be, things to do, places to go, best ways to get around, um, your favorite restaurant that you ate in, all that good stuff. If you have any advice for us, please leave it down in the comment section. I would appreciate it. And until then, be well, be blessed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.